And the answer is simple. Hymns broke my dick. I did my first review of this at the unboxing about two months ago, and I promised that I was going to give you monthly updates on my journey with hymns. But the truth is, I stopped taking hymns about two weeks after that video was made. Why, you might be asking. And the answer is simple. Hymns broke my dick. So as you, first off, just I'm not... I'm not saying this negatively about HIMSS or any of their products, and I know the medical science is there behind it, and this product is the real deal. These chemicals do exactly what they say they're going to. And with that being said, the fact that these chemicals do exactly what they say they're going to do means as you are signing up and you're talking with the doctor to get HIMSS, they tell you that erectile dysfunction, loss of sex drive, things like that are very real side effects of finasteride, which is the main chemical that they prescribe with hymns. So they tell you right out of the gate this is a possibility. And I thought, you know, not me. I don't have side effects because I am all that is freaking man. And it turns out about two weeks later, uh, I was no longer anything that was man. And um, yeah, it had me, it had me screwed up, man. I mean, every side effect that finasteride said it could bring me, it did. I felt weak. I didn't want to go to the gym. I definitely didn't want to think about sex or anything like that. It was, I felt like I was being grouchy. So for me, at that point, I stopped taking it right away. I had looked online. Yeah, it makes sense. It says discontinue use immediately. Um, and I probably could have gone about it a better way. If I would have contacted HIMSS, you can talk to their doctors anytime. If I would have called the number that they give you and said, hey, this is what's going on, I'm sure he would have told me right there, yes, it's a side effect in some men. If you discontinue use, they'll be reversed or whatever. But I didn't do that. I hit Google, and uh, I just let myself get more and more scared. And about two weeks later, after the from the last time I took this to that to two weeks later, um, I just, I wasn't right at all. And, um, so I'm not sure if it works for hair loss or not. I mean, the vitamin gummies that comes in the kit are the absolute most delicious, <laughs> delicious gummy vitamins that money could buy. I mean, that's a plus. Uh, the shampoo smells nice. I can tell you that. I did keep using the shampoo, but, um, as far as the kit in of itself, does it work for, does it work for hair loss? I don't know, but I will tell you this. I would rather be cue ball, Mr. Clean Bald tomorrow if that meant I never have to have that happen to me and my wiener ever again. So that's my opinion. Maybe you don't care, but that's a big risk. And um, they tell you, you have to actually agree to a disclaimer when you're purchasing hymns um, that those are very real side effects. So pay attention. Be smarter than I was with these warning labels. And, uh, um, so in my opinion, Hims hair loss kit, um, it makes sense why this company also sells so many boner pills. That's all I can say. Um, would I do it? Would I, would I buy Hims and take it again? Absolutely not. Would I recommend Hims to a friend? Absolutely not. It, I'm sure it won't happen to everybody. Because I've only seen a couple reviews of people saying this, so maybe it is for specific men or what have you, but it's not going to be me, man. Hims is not taking me down like that. So, Hims hair loss review, <clears throat> a big limp zero out of ten. Would not recommend. Huh. So, for Hims hair loss review, <clears throat> a zero out of ten. <laughs> a limp to zero out of ten. So, for Hymns Hair Loss Review, a big, a big limp zero out of ten.